the pain. Today we're testing out Mirrors as Catalyst for the PC. I'm running this on my Intel Core i3-7100U CPU bottleneck McBucks boy that just bottlenecks every damn thing. We have the Intel HD620. We're running with 16GB of DDR3 memory RAM in dual channel memory mode. I'm running at 60% of 720p on the lowest preset. I'm hoping the CPU doesn't give me too bad a performance. Anyway, let's get into the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and yeah, let's get into it. I always say don't forget to subscribe, guys. It really helps me out when you subscribe. I post a lot of content, so it helps me rank higher on the channel. So if you did, I would very appreciate that. But yeah, let's get into some Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I tested this out on the Iris 540. Did amazingly well. This is not doing that. So right off the bat, you can see the CPU bottleneck is a thing. The i3-7100 bottlenecks on almost everything. So let's carry that back up to 100% at 720p and see if that makes any somewhat of a difference for us. Because at least it pushes the GPU a bit harder. It pushed the GPU harder, but the CPU is still at 100%. This is a very CPU intensive game, so I know this is going to be painful. Uh, we can't do that anyway, so I'll just drop it down to 80% and we'll go from there. This is what happens when you run with a crap CPU, guys. I'm telling you. It may seem good, but if a crap CPU like this, you'll find yourself running into some serious problems. Hey! Over here! I'm Icarus. Noah sent me. You could be anyone. Now, well, I could trust lower down the resolution. You're probably wondering why don't I lower down Only the resolution the more. Once again, it's a CPU but bottleneck. If I lower down the resolution more, the quality only gets worse and the game won't improve. In fact, it'll light and stutter even more, to be honest with you, because the CPU can't keep up. As you can see. Come on, we need to get moving. Bro, just let everything load in first. I can't see anything. This is not the experience people want. Testing from the Intel is just going to be so, so much of a joy for me. But the i3-7100U is just such a bad CPU. If you have 2.4 years, it doesn't have a boost claw, which really limits it, by the way. Really limits it. Dress for promotion. Oh, I'm sorry. Almost forgot. We have to cut your grid link. It's causing the interference. The 620 could do Is so this much what more. See all the time? Yeah, I guess you're not. Where are we going? I know we're gonna run around a bit and have some fun with it. Because why not, right? I'll go the other way. Meet you up ahead. See what I mean? This is what I mean by the stutters. The CPU is a bottleneck, so all we get is consistent stutters. So, if we're going to get stutters regardless, might as well drop it down to 70 and hope for even better frames every once in a while. But look at that. See, I'm not even using... The GPU is not even hitting 100% now, so we're going to experience a lot more freezes. It's going to be terrible, but yeah, this is Mirror's Edge Catalyst. 